steaming may be boring for some, but it is very ideal for food that requires gentle cooking. Let me show you some tips on how to spice up your steaming process. This is Chef Tristan and let me show you how to blow off your steam. First, of course, I have here some vegetables, I have here some fish, I have here some salt and pepper, and of course, a pot filled with water for steam cooking. What I do is I gently, or first I lay down the vegetables. Normally for steaming, it requires water, but what I do, of course, to give it much flavor, bolder flavor, and make a tastier uh, food, I use broth or stock. I have here some broccoli. You can use cauliflower if you want. I have here some bell peppers, red, green, or the yellow capsicum if you prefer. I'm going to add some carrots, French beans, or the haricot vert. Again, for this recipe, I am using vegetable broth. Okay, I'm going to season our fish. If you're a meat person, you can use a chicken breast, but in this case, I'll be using fresh white fish. Now we're going to lay the fish on top of the vegetables. And then cover it. Wait for five to eight, to around 10 minutes. And then we're done. Again, make sure that when you open the lid, always away from you. The advantage of steaming is to preserve the nutrients of the food. Like in this case, we have some vegetables and the fish. Oh, it's almost done. So now, just need to transfer. Okay, again, opening the lid, away from you. Well, obviously not towards you. Don't want to burn your face. Okay, and then gently. Okay. And then look at the vegetables, even the fish. Bright in color means the, nutri the nutrients has been preserved. Of course, the flavors of the fish goes well with the went all the way through with the vegetables as well as the vegetables with the fish to the fish. And then just dump it there. You can drizzle a bit of the broth or the steaming liquid to your fish and to your vegetables before serving. There you have it, our steamed fish and vegetables. See us again here in Cook School.